two minutes. Two minutes. So far, no sign of any problem. Looking across at Apollo, I can see that the access arm, which allowed the astronauts to get into the command module, of course, has now been swung right back, and Saturn stands ready to go. In effect, one huge bomb, 650 tons of it, mostly liquid fuel. 67,000 gallons of liquid oxygen alone, 42,000 gallons of kerosene, and all to be burned up in just two minutes, 20 seconds. Already the topping up of the fuel tanks has stopped, and the tanks themselves are being pressurized to make sure that the eight engines of the rocket's first stage will burn evenly at full power as soon as they're ignited. The astronauts are now on a private communications network, which cuts them off from us, but leaves them, of course, in full contact with launch control. Nine with one minute to go, water begins to pour over the flame deflector. That's a bit hard to see at the bottom of the rocket. And moments later, over the mobile launcher itself. And at 50 seconds, the spacecraft is now completely on its own internal power. 45 seconds, and inside the command module, Tom Stafford punches a button for final confirmation of his guidance alignment. First stage, second stage, and instrument unit now on internal power. Approaching the 30-second mark in our countdown, water pouring onto the tank deflector, now coming onto the uh, deck of the mobile launcher. Everything proceeding smoothly. We'll get a guidance release at the 17-second mark. 20 seconds. The engines will actually start. The engine sequence starts at 3.1 seconds. All set countdown. now for the moment, we'll exactly 3.1 seconds before blast-off, when Saturn's rocket engines burst into light. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, engine one, start. One, zero, launch, commit. We have a liftoff. All engines. And the away. Moving out. Terrible, terrifying roar. It completely engulfs us here. Right. The astronauts leave the Earth. Roger, Tom, you got good thrust on all engines here, right on the mic. These are the first pictures, the first pictures of the interior of a spacecraft, an American spacecraft, through launch. The crew monitoring the instruments. Tom Stafford there. Coming up on one minute, we're serve the beach. Near the beach, if something goes wrong, they come down into the water. Yes, thank you, James. Just above the roar. Coming up to the maximum dynamic pressure as they go through the speed of sound. And they're through it now. Tremendous roar here in the cave. See that slow pull up there, not too much uh, G's, not too much pull on them. You can see that they can move inside the capsule quite freely. In spite of the tremendous speed, that thing is going at something like 1,500 miles an hour already. to the beginning of the inboard engines and the inboard engines cut out. And we have a report that we are losing some data here in the control center. Staging separation so now. Data from the command module computer. And there it goes. We're still looking good. Thank you, Tom. Okay, and the plane is out before me. And you can see the light going on. The engine firing on the S4B, the top stage. Truly advising the crew that everything looks good on the Saturn second stage. Energy jettison. There goes the tower. And the launch tower no longer needed. Uh, has been jettisoned this plan. You can see it falling off on the top of the picture there. The 
50 miles an altitude now, 80 miles downrange. And about 7,000 miles an hour. Guidance looks very good at this point. Uh, the command module computer data is intermittent now and everything looks good. The uh, trimmer in the central couch there looks as if he's calling up uh, data on the computer Three display. Now, is that what he's doing? Yeah, right. that's correct. He's punching the uh, data, checking the trajectory right. and... Uh, Checking height and pressure and acceleration and everything.